men's single draw. As you can see, only uh, three seats remaining in the men's singles. That was the case already in the uh, second round as we lost Momota and Antonsen prior to the uh, tournament started. And uh, three more seats in the uh, first round of play. So no seated player left in the uh, lower part of the draw. However, Kundabu Bittisan has a fairly high ranking, 10 in the world, and uh, he would have been amongst the uh, seeded had the proceedings been done the day prior to the tournament begun. So uh, Lou was scheduled to meet Kenton Water in the first round. Instead, he uh, defeated his uh, compatriot. Li Shi Feng, whilst Li Chug Yu defeated uh, Cho Chen Chen, the fourth seed in uh, his first round match. So they played each other once before in. Um, Chong Yong Kai team event in 2019 played in the iconic Queen Elizabeth Stadium in uh, Hong Kong on home solo for Li Chik Yu. But anyway, it was uh, Lu Kuang Su who won that match and has the head to head advantage. Left side for you first. Side you uh, Red one. Ah, play. Red. Side, yes. Sir, what is it? Thank you. So. Lu Guangzhou chose to start on the near side of the court here. Wanted to play with the drift in the beginning, at least compared to the first three tournament days. But um, I don't know if it might have changed. He turned uh, 26 nine days ago, Lu Guangzhou who's from Shuzhou uh, in the Jiangsu province. Currently uh, ranked 22nd in the world and uh, has spent two weeks as uh, number 17. He uh, is making his first appearance here in uh, French Open. You can see there the win over Li Shifeng, who was promoted from the reserve list and then beating the uh, number one on the race to Guangzhou list, uh, HS Pranoy in the uh, Second round match, 88 minutes um, for that match before Lu Guangzhou could uh, book his spot here in uh, today's quarterfinal. He's reached uh, one semi final at his best this year out of uh, 13 played tournaments. He took you from Hong Kong, also uh, 26 years of age, both players 178 centimeters of height. He's uh, one spot shy of his uh, highest ever ranking at uh, 15th at the moment. And he's also played uh, 13 tournaments this year. His best is uh, a quarterfinal in Indonesia. Super 1000 is uh, an attacking player. Let me check you. And um, here you can see two long matches against uh, players from Chinese Taipei. from a game in uh, 7.13 down against uh, Wang Tzu Wei in uh, yesterday's match. Mai Lang Yin from uh, Vietnam is our umpire for this match and Trish Gott from uh, New Zealand, our service judge. Ready to play. Richard Yu is making his fourth appearance here in uh, French Open. He's in the quarterfinal last year when he lost to Kanta Sunyama, who then went on to win the tournament. There's some tough peers they're up against. Uh, these two players, Shiyuchi, Jonathan Christie, Ginting, Sunyama. And some players that made their way in doubles disciplines, So Sun Jae and uh, Dechepan Puawanukro. All class of uh, 1996. 
Did you use best ever result is uh, winning on home soil the uh, Hong Kong Open back in uh, 2019 beat Anthony Ginting uh, in the final there and uh, the best ever for Lu Guang Su was Super 300 back in uh, 2018 beat fellow countryman Joe Ladies and gentlemen on my right Lu Guang Su China And on my left, Lee Chok Yu, Hong Kong, China. Lee Chok Yu to serve level play. Yeah. So buckle up because uh, this is uh, two Service speedy over. players. One love. extremely. Uh, Strong in terms of uh, movement on the court. I'm actually uh, quite impressed with uh, the Chagius uh, road to uh, this quarterfinal here because I normally Love. see him as um, having an advantage in uh, fast playing conditions. We cannot say that this is. Uh, Fast playing conditions here in uh, yeah, the Kubatang Stadium. It has been a little bit of drift the previous two days, which has Service meant that there's a one, difference in the two. playing conditions on uh, each side of the court, but um, the shuttles have been to the slow side. Service of three, one. Good service return. That's the normal playing style no, of Lee Chuck Yu. He doesn't go for long rallies, and uh, Lu Kuang Su has challenged the call that uh, it was in. I'm not sure he's going to win that one. And so Saifu, one talent remaining. Service over. Two, three, play. That's bad. Uh, it's called good, but we um, have a challenge from uh, each of you. In. And, uh, I think he has perhaps better chances of uh, winning that challenge. I'm not entirely certain, uh, but um, it looked like he could have gone wide. Both players looking at the uh, giant screen here in uh, the stadium. Yeah, here's the verdict. He was right each of you. Three or play. Excellent play by Lu Guang Su. Stood his ground in the defense, and I felt there was a change of um, approach here where four, he was much three. more content in uh, letting Li Chikyu draw first blood in the rally, so to speak.
Sun Jun on the right there, the former world champion. Service over for all. Malaysian born coach from Hong Kong, Wong Tuck Ming. That's one left by the Chuck Yu. Five, four. Oi. Lock favors the brave. You say in uh, six that four. That Lee must have been brave here, going for the winner. This could be a real battle between these two players because they match up but perfectly, both speedy. Lee with the uh, more attacking mindset. Lu can attack, but he doesn't mind playing a little bit more patient. Service over. Five, seven. It's gone wide. It's a pity. I love that um, cross back from where Lee came from. Service over. Eight, the cross clear and then five. gets attacked cross back again. That's a very difficult um, footwork. And he did well to cover it. Um, powerful smash by Lee. Oh. And again, towards the backhand side of uh, Lu. So, Ten, suddenly a five. healthy lead for the man from Hong Kong. So, Lee Chuck Yu with the uh, advantage in the mid game interval. It's up uh, 11 5. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Timo, 
11, 5, play. Twelve, five. That's a good shot. And the run of five straight points comes to an end for Nietzsche Gyu. Service over. Again, the cross back. Six, twelve. From a cross clear. Highly efficient uh, shot if you can make it. Good little deception. Oh, that's beautiful net play by Lu Guangzhou. Seven, twelve. Slant it in. It looks so casual. Lee, Lee but, um, Yu, I think he uh, misjudged in. that one. He's going to lose that challenge. Oh, he's still waiting for Hawkeye. Here it comes. Did indeed challenge catch the line. One challenge remaining. Eight, twelve, play. Very good net play by uh, Lu Guangzhou. Picked up speed there to uh, take it high. Nine. Look at this. Whoa. Barely touching it, but uh, guiding it across the net. Missed it. Service over. 13, 9. Got a good run points for Luke. Four, to be precise, to uh, make his way back into this uh, first game here. Fourteen nine. Attack. Challenge, it's called wide. Lee uh, Chuck Yu challenges, call out. It's going to be interesting. I, I think he has a chance of um, winning it. But it was close, no doubt about it.
Correct. And the narrows the margin. And uh, situations where play. it's really, really difficult to be a line judge because uh, you really can't see exactly where the uh, cork of the shuttle touches down. You keeping an eye on the uh, circular white spot. Played. Fired up by the good challenge, the good fortune. 16, 9. Well, Guang Su, he's currently ranked 7th on the uh, rate race to um, Guangzhou list. Qualification list for the uh, World Tour Finals. He um, got one place last week as uh, Li Xijia went past him. And, uh, it's definitely important for the Chinese if it, if Chinese if it could uh, move on in this tournament and secure a lot of points. This is uh, the last Super 750 tournament of the year. There's no more Super 500s, only two Super 300s left. That's in uh, Sanford in uh, Australia and not a whole lot of points at stake there. So. A good run here could uh, secure in the spots on home soil in uh, December. That's well placed. The smash. Eleven sixteen. <laughs> To get a little bit tense. Each of you. Oh, that's a good Seven smash. Goal. There's definitely um, some difficulties for Seven the Kwang Su <coughs> in his uh, backhand defense. Attacking the backhand and uh, Lu got to both of them. So it's not like it's a, a sure point each time, but the thing is that more often than from his forehand, it's a straight defensive shot that's coming. So Lee knows where to follow up. That was just in the nick of time that uh, he got to that one, Lee. I think he's played 19. well at the net, Lou. Deflected. It's wide. And long. Service over. 14, 19. Service over. 20 game point, 14. So, six game point opportunities to uh, Lee Chagu. Oh. And 
spreading it down in the backhand side of uh, Luke Wong Su. First time of asking. First game in the uh, book for the man from Hong Kong, China. Takes the first game after 19 minutes of play. 21-14. Ah,自己第二局了,自己要一定要强迫一下,要兴奋。啊,特别是往前,他喜欢在下面捞。他打理了后场,他全是从后场打理后场,你特别着停顿,你特别吃力。啊,你把往前抢住了,哪怕回放
And again, see how short that is. Mid-court area where Lou intercepts. Two, four. Just guiding across was uh, Luke. Six, two. And I don't think Lee is playing the backcourt with the same kind of confidence as he did in the first game. So it becomes more difficult for him to control the longer rallies. Called for by the umpire. Service Luke over. Over the net Three, when he made contact six. with the uh, shuttle. Can't see it well here. Here yeah, is the better angle. Yeah, I think the umpire was right, but it was a close one. Service over. Seven, three. Missed it, Luke. Service over. Four, seven. Beginning to get more confident in uh, finding the backcourt. What a long and grueling rally. And uh, Lee falls over. I actually think that should um, call for a warning. Got a verbal warning first, but um, he was completely aware of what he was doing. He was buying himself some extra time to uh, recover because um, even though he felt outside towards the sidelines of the court it still need to be mopped here as you can see the longest rally so far 56 shots yeah. i would expect lu kuang su to um, service over benefit from that eight four Four. 
Masters on the least Ten. side oh. of the court and uh, looks to me as uh, if Lu Guangzhou is uh, stamming his mark on this uh, second game here and uh, Lee losing a bit of interest in it. Oh, I guess that. Oh, that's beautiful net play. We've seen it before. Here he demonstrates four, it again, Lu Guangzhou. That's not a bad net shot, but uh, perfectly played back. This is a good angle. Oh, that's a beauty. Crosses the net so far away from uh, Lee Chik Yu that he can't cover it. And um, it's Lu with a seven point lead here at the mid game interval in the second game 11 4. One game to the good for Lee Chik Yu. <laughs> I must be reasonable to satisfied in the um, Chinese camp. 11 for play. If I will loop. Really, really focus and then uh, try to play some um, longer rallies with uh, the without giving him the possibility, of course, of uh, getting closer and sort of smelling a straight game 12, victory. Four. I have a feeling that stamina wise, this man here has the advantage. He knows that um, most likely this second game is a lost course and he's not going to spend too much energy on trying to come back. He's going to focus on um, the third game. 14 4. I think this is why it's a good opportunity to change ends in the middle of the games instead of in between the games. So we play one half four. game on each um, side of the court. Just like we see in the third game. And the side advantage is uh, not significant 16, if it's done four. that way. Right now, there's no doubt that uh, Lee had the advantage in the first game and Lu has it here in the second. Sharp 
point. Serve, so 17 5. Playing the same strategy on us Antonsen did in the uh, 2020 World Tour final when he was uh, playing Victor Axelsen. 6 17. Good shot. Seven, seventeen. Played eight match from uh, one o'clock yesterday. Second last match against uh, Pranoy, and that match lasted 88 minutes. So it's an early start for him here. Friday. Service over. Especially given the. 18. Quickness Seven. of the first women's singles we saw where Akane Yamaguchi won convincingly. It's on the line. Seven Both so players more or less eight, preparing themselves for um, a third game now, I would um, suppose. Could easily have chosen a better Service shot. Nineteen. Lee. A. So. Game points galore for Lu Guang Su. 20 game and what point. Lee hopes eight. is, of course, that he's able to build a lead in the beginning of the third game. And then take it from there. First game point saved, though. 20. by uh, Lee. 10, 20. Got to try and figure out as well how to play when it uh, gets to the uh, second part of the third game, which still seems more likely than not. Three. Game points saved so far, still nine to go for Luke Onsu. 11, 20. Yeah. There game. it is. Second game won by Luke Kwang Chu. Didn't really go 11, for that one. Uh, one game all. Lee Chuk Yu and... Uh, it's Luke Wang Su who levels the score here in uh, this quarterfinal in men's singles. One game all as he takes the second game, 21 11. Mm. Yeah, 
，你正手，你一平嘅高球位，佢正手就打佢，打過嚟啊，打過嚟，冇打過嚟啫，除非佢主動啫，如果唔係啊，係都係打直線啊，打翻過嚟，冇冇咩嘅，佢正手，頭頂反而多啲嘢，有個對角下直線嘅嚇，頂住啊嚇，嗯，有咩講啊？唔該，唔該，唔該。Shirt at the uh, 20 second call by the uh, umpire Mike. We are ready to uh, the third and decisive game in this um, final game. Men single. Level play. So we're going to see. A battle now, I think, for the attack because I think we're going to see a more attacking version of Luke Wang Su. He's not going to leave the initiative One. with uh, Lee no. as he ended up doing in the first game. So it's a tougher task he's got now, Lee Chuck Yu, than it was in the first game. Can he solve it? Slice. Looked a little bit um, shaky that shot, but um, it was actually very, very good. Great accuracy from uh, Lu Guangzhou. Attention with the uh, Lee Chuck Yu jumping up and down, trying to loosen up. But again, good net play by Lu Guangzhou. He's Four. definitely been uh, no. a better player at the net. See, that got deflected. Still managed to get it back with um, good accuracy. Good shot. Service off. Magnificent cross smash from uh, one four. Lee Chuck Yu. And it's so important that he plays that what the shot once in a while to sort of keep the backhand side open. I don't think there's any chance uh, change in where the um, preferred placement is for Lee. A 
That's a difficult uh, combination. Hitting it cross, running cross, oh. and playing it back cross oh. with accuracy. And this time, Lou couldn't do it. Full power, max movement, and then play a soft shot with great accuracy. That is not at all easy. Yeah, clever play. Mali sensing that um, there's a good chance that Lu, Lu will uh, play back, which he's done very, very often in this match. So, all. first four points for Lu Guangzhou. Next four to Li. Oh. In the match at all square. Oh, that's a fantastic shot by Lu Guangzhou. Service off. Been really, really good at uh, utilizing Four. these um, cross on crosses. Good retrieval. That shot there is an absolute beauty. Full dive by uh, Lee Chung Yu. Almost Five, a stuntman dive. Four. Missed it. Six. Four. And the more point Lou manages to score on this near side of the court, the better a chance he's giving himself of making the second semi final of the year. That's well played. Service so five. First semi final he was in, was in uh, Malaysia. Masters, the Super 500 tournament, where he lost to Chico. What are you from Indonesia? Nope. Nope. Oh, as far as I recall, went on to win that tournament. That's a good smash, a beautiful smash from uh, Lee Chuck Yu and what that uh, at some point looked like a, a practice exercise. Lu Guangxu attacking and then lifting the next one high to the uh, back line. And suddenly a counter-attack by uh, the man from Hong Kong. Thirty-one shots. Longest hat in the match was uh, fifty-six. Six all. 
Riley Webb. Lee tumbled on the court following the conclusion of the rally. Missed it. Service of seven, six. There's one thing he did so well in the first game. He, he kept his patience, but I think if he plays patient here, there's more situations where Lou will go in and uh, take the initiative. Well played. Definitely with the upper hand now, the Eight. Chinese. Six. Deception. He read it all the way, Lu Guangzhou, amazing play by the Chinese. Service off. Promoted Nine, to uh, first men's single at the uh, Thomas Cup campaign this year, at least for some of the matches. That was a tough task in the absence of uh, Chen Long and uh, Xi Yuqi. Guess it gave him some experience. Lee <laughs> advocating that um, Lu touched the net on pass as it was the seven. shuttle and. Uh, Lou supports him in that um, case. Thank you. Lee. I think actually it might have been the racket. It's difficult to tell here, so Lee. can't really fault the umpire for not being able to tell it. And all the uh, commotion, I forgot to check whether he took it on uh, Lee's side of the court, which also could have been the case. It just shows that there's so much the umpire have to uh, Keep track of. That's a bad miss there. Service over. Not Eight, some. Ten. We normally see. I don't know if that's exploitable for Lee Chuck Yu. That definitely. Shows that he should keep on pushing to that um, flat backhand side. Beautiful cross mesh. And his forehand defense is more vulnerable, Nine, Luke Wang Su, when um, the smash comes from across. Scored the straight ones really well in this match. Been able to play cross defense back and get himself out of trouble immediately. There it is. He's back in it. Lee. Ten. There's only going to be on. one point in it at the mid game interval, but uh, will that be enough to work with, even if. Uh, he gets the advantage, which is definitely not sure. For Lee Chuk Yu. 
He gets the advantage. Another beautifully placed cross smash. 11, 10, and he's one 12, point up after trailing for a long while here in uh, this third and decisive game. Scoreline as narrow as possible. 11 10. So this was Play. where Lee got more insecure in terms of um, playing the backcourt, playing patient attack in the second game. And, uh, I guess there's not going to be a whole lot of patience above it or attached to the rallies here because it's going to be uh, a battle for the attack. And I think from Lou's perspective, this is the situation where he needs to um, take control of the rallies, 12, but he 10. also needs to work the full court and play a little less attacking than uh, Lee Chagyu, because otherwise I think he's playing the game where his opponent has the advantage. So it's uh, not easy at all. Service over. And dominating the net. 11, 13. Of uh, seven straight points comes to an end, and uh, I don't know if you can survive if you lose seven straight points in a deciding game. You can get the answer. Service over. Shortly. 14 11. He moved for it, but changed his mind. <laughs> it's gone long. It's gone way long. Fifteen, eleven. smash down the line with a tiny little bit of margin from uh, Lee. Sixteen, eleven. Played on uh, Lee Chagyu's premises on his conditions at the moment. 17, He's 11. better than uh, Luke Wong Su in playing this game, unless Lu works the backcourt with quality, then he's going to be in uh, dire straits. It was Lee who played it. Clever play. That clear. 
keeping his 18, opponent guessing. 11. And he's now won 10 of the last 11 points, Lee Chik Yu. Oi, fantastic net play there by Lu Guangzhou. <laughs> Lee was guiding it to 18. the top of the tape. Look at this. Right at the top of the tape. And Lu gets it back with quality and then kills the last one. Absolutely beautiful play by the Chinese. Much better play now. He's been tensed, Lu Guangzhou, at 10-7 uh, up when he's realized that there was a chance of him winning this uh, semi-final now. He's playing much more freely, the way I see it. 14-18. This is far from over. Uh, he's getting beat at the net. Uh, Lee. 15, 18. So four straight points, and uh, I think now it's Lee who's gotten a little bit tense here. 18, 11 up, then you should expect to convert to a win. That stays in. Way in. That was a hopper. 16. Just two points in it now. Oh, yeah. Big miss from Lou, and look at the reaction. Wanting to slam his racket to the floor. This shows how much. Uh, there's a stake for these two. Look at those pictures here. Play left. 19, 16, play. It's gone wide. And he's celebrating. Well, he hasn't won yet. 20. Match point so he's, uh, 16. Secured himself for match points. Service off. 17. First one burned. 20. And cross it does the trick. Eighteen twenty. Cross the hour mark by uh, three minutes. But nowhere as long as uh, Luke Wong Su's match yesterday. Unless we've got 25 minutes left of this match. <laughs> so, two game, two match points saved, two remaining.
took the top of the yeah. tape, and he's done it. Vitagiu, so far best result of the year. It looked difficult, and he was down 10-7 in the decider, then scoring 11 out of the next 12 points. Saw him through to uh, tomorrow's semi-final. He was beaten at the net, but it was at the net he uh, scored the final point. And that's a happy man from Hong Kong into the first semi-final of the year here in this uh, Super 750 tournament. Lee Chun Yu in uh, 65 minutes. On play, he defeated this man, Lu Kuang Su. 21-14, 11-21, 21-14, 11-21. Back to uh, the Onyx French Open 2022 here at Stade Pierre de Coubertin in the western part of uh, Paris. So the first two matches of uh, quarterfinals day is uh, concluded, and uh, after the battle in uh, the men's single, we turn our attention to men's double and uh, top seeded Hoki and Kobayashi from Japan. Against the Indian combination of Rankyo Reddy and Shetty. 